home can be so many things. Home can be, it, it's not um, the cookie cutter vision that, or the monopoly house, you know, that people have in their heads. It can be so many different things. And the, the ability for, for people to fashion that um, to their own liking is such a, it's a beautiful freedom that we have. When we met, he had the silo um, constructed as, as kind of just a storage shed, but he knew that he always wanted to, to create some sort of living unit out of it. So when we were dating and, and getting married, um, we kind of had the idea together to make it our first home. There were real constraints, like can you get two people to live in here comfortably without really having rooms per se. That was a fun, a fun challenge to try to fashion everything you need pretty much all the parts that a normal house has, but in this very unconventional form and very small, you know, overall shape. So the, the overall square footage upstairs and downstairs is 366 square feet. So the upstairs is approximately 60% of what the downstairs footprint is. I just love learning the space and kind of watching how it changes you. We had to do a pretty serious pare down of our, of our stuff to move in here and that honestly just keeps continuing. You know, you think you can't minimize anymore, but after digging through 20 tank tops, it, you decide that 10 is plenty. <laughs> because everything is so tightly constrained, you don't have the option of, of not truly considering every aspect of it. And, and thinking through, what is your daily ritual? I don't think I've ever slept better in a space. There's got to be some, some magic to, to being in a round environment and how it plays into your quality of sleep. It's just really comfortable. It feels, I don't, you kind of feel like you're always on vacation waking up in a, in a space like that. I think my favorite feature is the outdoor shower. Um, there's something kind of wonderful about waking up and going outside, being under a shade tree, uh, being under the blue sky and just being naked and in nature, you know? There's something, it's the only place I do it, I promise. There's no other, <laughs> I'm not a nudist. I wanted to have a dining table that you could actually congregate around. And that was always a, a special moment in the day where you, it, it's the end of the day, you come together and you talk about how your day was. And that's something that I wanted to, to preserve in, in this. We had 12 people here for Christmas and it was very comfortable just having everyone kind of hang out. I could be inside prepping with the, the door open. It felt very effortless. It was great. I mean, it was kind of our proving grounds. Like we could actually cook a meal and support that many people and just enjoy the, the, the outdoor space. Um, that's a very fond memory. We affectionately called it the pressure cooker for a while because it was our first year of marriage and, and we had to live with a bathroom mirror that constantly like falls to the side and you know, all kinds of ridiculous stuff. There was intimacy there that I think um, might not have been there if we had this sprawling house where I could be in the yoga studio and she would be in the day bed area, you know, like it makes you confront issues more and it, it really brings you together. There's camaraderie there that I don't think would be otherwise. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> You're a dork. There's something about living in a small space that um, it simplifies life. It simplifies almost every aspect of life. It quiets the mind in a way. I love this space. You know, this is home. This is our, our first place where we, I feel like we really kind of put down roots and started a a lifestyle together. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to settle for something that doesn't quite fit your personality and, and so I, I, I think it's a good challenge. I really invite people to think out of the box for their first home. Mm -hmm.